good day guys yeah thanks for coming back again if you're a subscriber of the channel as usual and if you are new here please just click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell that will let you know we drop our videos so this the purpose of this video is to correct one or two things on the uh, physics practical mechanics video that was short and posted recently of u and v so v will be on the vertical axis and u will be on horizontal axis let's so nothing is wrong with the table just that we need to adjust one or two things because i've seen so many people's comment about it so the table is just meant to be adjust where you see if you check the table we drew initially in the previous video you see that the w1 w2 and w3 the masses which are 50 100 150 200 250 were not converted to newton to kilogram rather so we supposed to convert them to kilograms so how do we go about that so that is the mass over 1000 that will give us the value in kilogram then by the time we multiply it by 10 which is acceleration due to gravity then we'll be getting the value of the weights we'll be getting the value of the weights so and that will be in newton as the unit is now so then all we just need to do is the value of this in air will definitely be 50 so since weight one is air is the weight of the object in air so that's what 50 so which means i'll be having 50 over 1000 and that'll be giving me 0 0.0 uh, 0 um, 5 yeah so 0 0.05 so if i have 0 0.05 times 10 i'll be having 0 0.5 so which means what's supposed to be here should be 0 0.5 but you have to put it in two decimal place so i have to put that this okay so then the same thing happens to the rest so this should also be recorded in two decimal place uh two decimal place except u and v that has to do with evaluations then we have to put them in uh three decimal place so the that of 100 is going to give us um zero points okay if i have these over 1000 so that is 100 over 1000 so that we definitely give us 0 0.1 so multiplying that by 10 i think i'll be having 1.00 yeah so this should give us 1.50 then this should give us um um 2.00 then this will definitely give us um, 2.50 so I think that's okay so then from there this we the weight in air will also be converted to kilogram and then record in Newton uh, all we just need to do to the previous table is to divide all the values we have written here by 1000 divide all the values here by 1000 and divide all the values here by 1000 so then we divide each values here to by 1000 so that will make the table now perfectly correct so that is just the adjustment i need to make on the previous video thanks for watching please subscribe to the youtube channel and endeavor to watch other videos and come from come for other videos that are of engineering courses and uh, science in general thank you